What's going on, y'all? This be your boy, Scotty by Nature TV, and we're here for a brand new episode of Yes for the Mess, where we talk about celebrity gossip, hot topics, and all things reality TV based. I hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful Sunday, and I intend on doing the exact same. What's going on? All right. Happy early Labor Day. Now, before we get into today's mess, let's talk about what we got on the horizon. Now, as you guys already know, the Real Housewives of Atlanta Part 1 reunion airs tonight on Bravo at 8, 7 Central. And as you also know, I did have my live set for 905 Eastern, but due to a family barbecue that I am attending in a few minutes, I will have to, I pushed it back to 1115 Eastern instead of 905 Eastern because I got to get home, watch the show, then do my live, okay? So yes, that's the reason why I pushed it back. So yes, I'm sorry for it being so late, but y'all already know what's going on with me. Y'all know I got to do my thing. So with that being said, that's pretty much all. I see you guys later on tonight for my live review of the Real Housewives of Atlanta reunion. Mm -hmm. Also on tomorrow, the Whether You Like It or Not panel airs on Yacritis' platform. Tune in at Scotty by Nature TV, giving you the real tea, Joe Size World TV, Yacritis, Really B TV, and Simply Sakina all come together to discuss the part one of the Real Housewives of Atlanta season 15 reunion, all right, at 8.30 p.m. Eastern time. Also on Tuesday, you guys do know that Love and Hip Hop airs, and you do know on Thursday, Roast Review will be right back here on Scotty by Nature TV, all right, so make sure you guys tune in to that as myself, giving you the real tea, and Josiah's World TV speaks on the upcoming episode of Love and Hip Hop. And also, thank you guys for tuning in to the season four premiere of Boys Night Out this past Friday. We really appreciated you guys for all the support, and y'all came in on Friday. Wow, waiting on the Fab Five. We will be back on September the 15th for the second episode of Boys Night Out. So make sure you guys tune in, same time, same place. With that being said, you guys, that's pretty much all that we got for the church announcements. So let's go ahead and get into the mess. Now, as you guys already know, Erica Mena and Spice have been the topic of discussion all week. And now there's more people speaking out on the situation. Now, basketball wife star OG. Um, was tagged in a lot of posts when it came down to this situation with Miss Erica Mena. And she had some things to say in regards to it. So we're going to go ahead and get into what she said about the situation. Let's let's talk about it. Now, as you guys already know, honey, um, what was, as you guys already know, Miss OG had her own chef colorism on Basketball Wives. And this is what she said. She said, now a lot of people have been tagging me and messaging me on this very important subject and is much appreciated. So here are my thoughts. I personally do not care how heated an argument gets. Responding in a racist or colorist manner is beyond disgusting. And I will only speak to that individual's deplorable character. Make all the excuses you want, but my stance is very, very clear. Using an using an emoji picture or calling someone a monkey gorilla or orangutan orangutan it's horrible and it would never ever be okay thanks to everyone who brings awareness to this type of nasty behavior and stands up okay i'm sorry and stands up for what is right all right so that's pretty much it, you guys. That's pretty much it. And I am glad that OG was speaking up on this situation because she's always been very upfront and very honest about the subject of colorism. She was one of the first to ma mainly bring it up on reality TV. And she was she was treated as such uh, in a such manner due to the color of her skin, in my opinion. Some people don't want to believe that, but I definitely believe that that was the case. So I'm glad that people are speaking up, and I'm glad that people are seeing Erica Mena for what she is, but it's very disgusting that there are some people that are defending Erica Mena for the things that she stated and the things that she said, and are acting very obtuse. And like I said in my live yesterday, when it comes down to colorism or black, or, or especially colorism and racism, black people are very obtuse, and they don't want to defend it, or they don't want to mainly um, they don't want to call it out or they act like they don't see it. I don't understand it. It's given housing mentality. That's what the fuck is given to me. So I'm glad that there's people like myself or there's people like OG that's coming out speaking on the colorism and racism of it all. But I find it very disgusting and very disheartening to find that, that our very own black women are going against Spice and um, return of this girl, Erica Mena, who has called black women roaches and called black women monkeys in the past. And I just don't understand how anybody can sit up here and be okay with the situation. I just don't get it and I just don't understand it. And I just don't see why anybody would think that that shit is okay. Cause it'll never be okay for me, but that's just my opinion on it. So we're gonna move on to the last part of this video. And that is Miss Jess Hilarious, whom 
I find to be very ignorant as fuck most of the time. Even when I think she's funny, she's still an ignorant person. But she decides to chime in on this Erica Mena situation. And she claims that she don't think that Erica was using or using a racial slur. Let's listen in on what her ignorant ass had to say about it, y'all. Let's take a listen. Fired for loving hip hop or calling Spice a wee monkey and for making comments about her son. This what I mean. Every time they get into it with her community, they always bring that shit. That's the only thing they can say about her is this her something about her son. That's what's, fucked up. What's wrong with her son? It don't matter what the fuck wrong with him. Don't bring him up. Like Spice said, your son don't like you. And I can't call you a motherfucking monkey. I don't think Erica Mena was using it as a racial slur. Maybe Spice looked like a monkey to her. Let a motherfucker tell me Ash don't like me. Whatever the fuck you look like, I'm gonna call you that. And the fact that they filmed it back in the Dizzle and it come on now and then you choose to fire her for the backlash. You're not even protecting your cast. Like you yeah. And then Safari standpoint, who does he defend? Do you defend the mother of your child, your ex-wife? That's still the mother of your child. But then you Jamaican. Oh, sure. Nigga. Just like the trans woman that came to my show, and I'm like, oh shit, she was by herself. I'm like, oh, what happens when the other trans women find out that you hit? They might fuck you up. They still mad at me. I don't know. It's like, where do you go? Oh, I love Jess, but I'm also with T. My trans is over here. It's gonna be like, whoa, how the fuck you go there? Erica Mena fired from loving hip hop for calling spice of women. And as usual, Jess sounds dumb as. Okay, she sounds dumb as hell. Okay, flat out, point blank, period. My thing is, how in the f you are the main look. I'm sorry, I gotta do it. You are the main mother. There was the main one speaking up against trans women and talking about who is going to protect black women and all this other who shot John stuff. You was the main one. But you got a black woman that was called a monkey by a non-black woman. And you're saying that you don't think that she was using a rage, racial slur. Are you fucking insane or are you just dumb as you sound when you speak? Because calling a black woman a monkey, a uh, orangutan, or anything of the sort is disparaging, is fucking degrading. And not only is it any of that. It is also derogatory, and you should know that. So what the fuck are you even talking about, Jess? Like, you was the main one on the whole protect black women train, but why isn't any of you motherfuckers that be the main ones on that motherfucking train talking about protect black women isn't protecting the black women that was disrespected in, 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 in this highest regard on national TV? Y'all so motherfucking mad that she got fired and talking about y'all going to air it and then fire her. Do you not know how the reality TV works? They're going to show the motherfucking shit. Isn't it called reality television? Y'all want reality. So in all reality, you're going to see that this mother is racist and a colorist. That's the reality. I feel like people like yourself are only on this protect black women train when it's motherfucking convenient for you. Because if you're going to get on a black woman train and talk about protect black women and all that who shot John stuff, when it comes down to the trans community and all this other stuff, then you should be on that same train when it comes down to a Latino woman calling a black woman a damn monkey. I don't understand how dumb you motherfuckers are. Like, y'all are really stupid and dumb, honestly. But y'all to even say that that's not what it is. That's exactly what it is. And not only that, she used, she was making monkey noises after she said it. And y'all still don't see nothing wrong with that? It's deplorable. It's like I said, it's so crazy to me because y'all can find something wrong with every damn thing else. Y'all can call out trans women as you know, y'all can call them out. Y'all can call out black men for, for, for all the shit that they do. And I'm not saying that any community that I just named the straight black men, the trans women, I ain't saying that they are above reproach because they, they can be disrespectful and they should be called out when they are being disrespectful. But when it comes down to colorism and it comes down to shit like this, y'all act like y'all don't see it and y'all act obtuse to this motherfucking shit. Y'all can call out every damn thing else and not be okay with every damn thing else, but you okay with this motherfucking taco calling this woman a monkey. And yes, I said taco. I know it's wrong, but I said it. Y'all okay with that? Y'all don't see nothing wrong with that. Y'all don't think that that's a slur. 
Me saying taco was, is an example of calling someone a slur. That is an example. And I'm making notice that that is a slur before somebody comes into my comments. And I said it for a reason. She's calling her a monkey. That is a slur. And you know it's a slur. It's degrading when people call you a man, Jess. I don't get it. How do you not see this? Y'all, listen, I am so overdone with this damn topic. And it's, it's a shame that people really don't realize how, how degrading and detrimental this really is. But y'all, what y'all got to say about it? Leave it down below. With that being said, this be your boy, Scotty by Nature TV. Be sure to like, rate, comment, subscribe, and share this video. And also click on the notification bell so you can be notified whenever a video drops. And if you want to follow me on any form of social media, my Twitter, my Instagram, and my TikTok will be down below. With that being said, you guys, your boys up out of here. And until my next video, I will talk to you guys a little bit later. And I will leave you guys with the promo for my upcoming panel, the Chasing Panel, that's coming this fall. Talk to you soon. Bye, y'all.